and Kamaru Usman. So here we go with round one, Grappler versus Grappler. This was probably the wrong week for me to skip Combat Sambo class, but what are your expectations for this one? I expect these guys to come together, man. I expect them to come together, and we're going to see some fantastic throws, and not only just fantastic throws, but just jockeying for position. Even though it may not look that these guys are doing much, the, the, the little details in the underhooks, in the clinches, in the foot position, head position, is going to be very interesting to watch. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Switching stances here. trying to hammer that lead leg. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Just a slip there. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice kick. A lot of power on display from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight, not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Ooh, what a punch. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have now landed for Colby Covington. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Try to establish that jab. Big kick lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, start, he'll change his stance. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, beautiful. He's right there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house on Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Elbow to the head there by Kamaru. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Covington gets touched and once again it's that elbow. That has been there all night. Defense has got to be better. Oh! Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Beautiful strike. Under a minute to go in all. Well, no surprise, round. he gets the takedown there. Over and over again, he attacks. He secures, and on we go. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. 
And now he's got that tight punch. Boy, Ty Plump. Digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50, because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? And now trying to take the back. is here, Colby Covington. And that man, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Good punch. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts and he finally has secured one. Oh, the elbows are razor sharp, as is the accuracy rate for him tonight. I mean, he is throwing these elbows in combination. It's unbelievable. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. And both guys really throwing with authority. That's a big strike right there. Single collar tie now. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Another clinch position. And there comes the separation now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Covington. Well, the body work started to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Shoot a throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You got to try to find whether or not you're going to land. Ground and pound here or if you're going to go to a submission. We march on three minutes to go. 89 total strikes have landed for Colby Covington. And landing half the shots tonight, 50% the accuracy rate against Kamaru Usman. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. 